Only on 7 News, Virginia's Attorney General and the Governor sitting down with 7 News reporter Nick Minock. The exclusive interviews discussing the latest on the state's investigation into Fairfax County Public Schools for not telling students about their National Merit Award recognition. This is all part of our continuing crisis in the classroom coverage. I'm in Richmond, right outside Virginia Attorney General Jason Miara's office. We sat down with the Attorney General to get the very latest on his investigation into Fairfax County Public Schools for not notifying students about their national merit recognition in at least three different high schools in Fairfax County. This week, we learned from the acting superintendent in Loudoun County that the same thing happened there at at least three high schools in Loudoun County. A lot of people there wondering if the Attorney General will investigate Loudoun County Schools for the same thing. We took these concerns to the AG. Here's what he said. Well, we're going to review every allegation of any type of potential racial ethnic discrimination whatsoever. We're going to review what we are hearing is happening aloud and what we are telling parents in Northern Virginia is if you think that you have been the victim of either this or any other type of racial ethnic discrimination, go to the Office of the Attorney General's website and go to our Civil Rights uh, Division and you could file a complaint. We review every complaint that comes through our office. We're going to review these as well. And um, you know, right now we're looking at Fairfax. Now, state Democrats are slamming Miara's investigation. State Senator Scott Surville is calling the AG's probe a fake investigation, adding Arlington, Alexandria, and Prince William County are next. And House Minority Leader Don Scott said the AG is constructing a fake controversy that in no way impact educational outcomes in schools. We asked Governor Glenn Youngkin today in Richmond, what's his reaction to Democrats' criticism of these investigations? That's the exact same thing they said last year when we called for an investigation in Loudoun County around the sexual assault of young women and what appeared to be the cover-up of that. The reality is that we have a superintendent in Fairfax schools who has explicitly stated that her top objective is equal outcomes for all students regardless of the price. Now we know the price includes paying $450,000 to a liberal consultant to come in and teach the administrators in Fairfax County how to do this. 7 News on Your Side has been on top of the story from the very beginning as a part of our Crisis in the Classroom coverage. You can find our original reporting right now on WJLA.com. In Richmond, Nick Minox, 7 News. 7